Hello world, it's Random Vandom. If you like watching Random Vandom videos, please like and subscribe. Alright, here we are again, Random Vandom, Random Vandom YouTube channel. So uh, like and subscribe if you're seeing this on TikTok or Instagram. Uh, the, the platform that I'm mostly on and the mostly where you're going to find me is at Random Vandom YouTube channel. And you can see the... Um, you can see the prompt I've got typed into this AI art generator. This is Wonder. This is an AI art generator. It's just an app on iPhone that I actually, I actually paid thirty dollars for it. But I, I, I like it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I, it was a little while ago, and I'm not sure if there's something better out there. You can put in the comments if you think there's a better YouTube, better AI generator out there. You can, you can definitely put in the comments. Um, you know, anything you know about AI art generation, put something in the comments if you want to see me. Put if you want to put a prompt in the comments that you want me to to put up on here, and we can see what it generates. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and talk about the the zombie utopia, the zombie apocalypse. This is my new idea: is the zombie utopia. I'm saying that okay, the zombie apocalypse is mainly mainly a metaphor for what is going on right now. What's happening right now? A lot of things. There's things like. There's people who are becoming zombies and staring at their phones, right? You're, you might be partaking in that right now. You become a little bit of a zombie and you're staring at your phone and you're, you know, maybe you're not working like you should be. Maybe you're not being productive. And I'm not saying you should stop watching this video because I'm about to tell you something extremely important. But, you know, maybe you're not talking to your family, maybe not spending time with your kids. Dude, this thing can't spell banana or zombie, right? Uh, that is, I don't know. I mean, it's a freaking computer and it has spell check. So why can't it spell banana or zombie? But that's a cool picture. And so, you know, you're watching this video, right? And there's a lot of people out there watching YouTube, watching TikTok, watching Instagram, just like a zombie. It's kind of very fascinating when you see somebody actually walking through the mall. That's a good one. I like that zombie utopia. It says right there. And that one's actually spelled right. When you see somebody walking through the mall, that is a messed up looking banana. There's an apple there too. And they are, they're, you know, they're looking at their phone. They're not looking at what's happening around them. I catch myself doing it a ton. I'll be walking around. Actually, when I go hiking, I really try to make sure that I put my phone down and that I at least always don't have headphones in when I'm walking, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm out hiking, because, you know, I want to listen to the bird nature sounds. <laughs> guy is pretty damn funny. Uh, I want to listen to the bird nature sounds and, you know, I want that to help me relax. Now I often play Pokemon go when I'm hiking. And I just noticed the other day I was out hiking at Ankeny wildlife refuge and I was playing Pokemon go looking at my phone and I got like 15 feet from a hawk would have been a beautiful, spectacular picture. Cause he was right there on the perch out there at, at Ankeny wildlife refuge. And I could have gotten a great picture of him, but because I was looking at my phone playing Pokemon go, now, I might not have even gotten out there if I hadn't been playing Pokemon Go because sometimes Pokemon Go is just what encourages me to get out. But I would have been able to take a picture of him for you and put it up on my I Love to Explore Oregon channel or something like that. But we are, we're walking, staring at our phone like zombies. Dude, that guy is messed up. And we are... Whoa! Yeah. And, and we are maybe missing out on what's really going on in front of us. We are not living in the moment because we are zombies. So we're living in the zombie apocalypse because people are staring at their phone like a zombie. They're being overtaken by another entity. And so that's that's one thing. But there's also, of course, there's people on drugs. There's people on meth. There's people on cocaine and, and xanth or tra trank or whatever they call it and, and, and fentanyl and, and all that crazy messed up stuff that's just messing people up and you know that's another thing that we've we've totally got to watch out for but and this is where the zombie this is this is something about so this is ai this i know i'm kind of going around in loops here and sometimes i have a really hard time staying in track because because i'm just i have some some adhd and it really messes me up but i'm hoping that it will become a style and something that'll like it and i'll get an audience from it because there's other people out there who have uh, who have ADHD and they can't stay focused. And since I can't stay focused on a subject when I'm talking about it, but I'm going to work my way back around to it. Okay. I'm talking about AI. All right. And AI is, it has an algorithm. And if whatever you watch on TikTok, whatever you watch on, on YouTube, yeah, 
<laughs> it's going to it's going to show you what you want to see. It's going to try anyway. Sometimes it's it has no idea. Sometimes it brings you to a video that you know that you get bored of within the first fifteen seconds. But if if it's good enough, it's going to keep on showing you stuff that's watching and turn you into a zombie watching this stuff. Well, if it was smart enough, it would be turning you into a zombie. That is one of the freaky. That's a freaky one. It would be turning you into a zombie making stuff. So I am a zombie right now because I'm making you this video, right? And I'm hoping that you will watch it and then I will get some dopamine because you will then make a comment, push that like button, and I'll be tempted, I'll be interested in making you more videos. Now there's there's no doubt about it that I love making videos so much, as you can tell if you're, you know, if you're on my if you see anything on my work that I love making some video, videos so much that I will make them whether people watch them or not. That's just how it is. And some of my videos, nobody watches them. Eh, I don't care. I'm going to make them whether you're watching them or not. But the thing is, is that if AI was smart, it would teach us how to use our passion to then make a video that people will watch and then we can buy whatever people are selling and we can just continue this cycle of making videos and getting paid for it and not having to do this stupid, boring, repetitive nine to five that we all have to do. Going to work to a job that we don't necessarily... Now, I'm grateful for my job. I really am. But admittingly, it's not, you know, it's not something I love to do. And I've had worse jobs. And there's a reason why I've been doing the last job that I've been doing for 20 years, because like I said, I'm grateful for it. And it's better than anything else I was doing before that. But it's certainly not my passion certainly not, I am not smiling like this dude right here. It's certainly not my passion and it's not the thing I think I could do the best at. But anyways, that's just my thought on the zombie utopia. If, if the algorithm would somehow teach us how to use our passion to then become creators on YouTube and, and make videos that were really good, if it would like teach us how to do it well. Somehow this has got to work out. This is going to be what's going to happen because, because you know what? Pretty soon we're not going to have to worry about food. We're going to have to, we're going to have art. We're going to have 3d printers that are just going to print food. And pretty soon they're going to print us houses and we can just all sit in our house and make videos all day of what we enjoy doing. And other people watch us and we'll just be like this whole big community of friends making videos for each other. And we'll all love each other and there'll be word world peace. That's beautiful. I love the color in that one. So like and subscribe my video because I'm all about world peace and I'll say anything like that because that helps me get a view. But I really, those are, I love the color in that one. What, what, so that was a uh, hyper real that I was getting so much color from. And, um, yeah, cliche as world peace is, but that's where it's at, you know? And so just check it out. And if you're still listening to my video, then, then, you know, that's enough to show that you like what I'm saying and subscribe because I'll be making more stuff like this. But I'm random venom, so you never know what I'm going to make. And neither do I, because the ADHD, it brings me stuff all the time, and I put it up here for you. If I'm having the dopamine, sometimes my ADHD just takes away all my dopamine. But here we go.